We are here at the Huntington Shops in Huntington, West Virginia. CSX has done an amazing job of restoring this caboose behind me. It was donated to us back in May of 2018 and they told us that they were going to repaint it and send it to us. And uh, what happened from about September until uh, to about right now it is nothing short of remarkable. Uh, the, the guys here, the crews at CSX, the paint shop went above and beyond. Um, I, honestly, I've never seen anything restored this nicely. CSX has been excellent to work with. Um, they understand our mission of economic development through rail-related activity, uh, our restoration project uh, for a variety of pieces, the CNO 2716 being front and center, um, can only happen with the, the partnership and, and excellent support from a, a company like CSX. The more I learn about the condition this caboose was in when it came here, the more I'm impressed. Uh, and there weren't a whole lot of pictures taken of it. And I got to see some of those today from some of the guys that worked on this. And it was amazing what they did, uh, especially in the interior. Uh, I know everybody just looks at the exterior of this caboose and, and can't believe it. If you go in the interior, the, uh, the woodworking, uh, the attention to detail, the painting of the small little appliances is just, it's breathtaking. And I mean, when we were in there for the first time, uh, it was hard for us to really put into words how impressed we were with the thoroughness of the work and then the quality of it. This whole project isn't just necessarily about equipment, it's about the people that are behind the equipment. And uh, we want to tell the stories of not only the people that built the railroads in Eastern Kentucky, but also continue to uh, help tell the stories of the, of the men and women that work on Class 1 railroads and railroads all over the nation. My name is Eric Hendrickson, CSX Transportation Director of Network Planning. We found this caboose in uh, Cordial, Georgia. Um, we actually had to cut trees down to get it out because it had been there for quite some time. Then we moved it up here to Huntington. And essentially what they did is they stripped it down just similar to how we redo a car. They sandblasted it, cleaned it all the way down to bare metal, uh, and then started building it up from there. There's not a piece of rust on this thing. Uh, everything's got fresh metal on it. Uh, there's no Bondo, none of that stuff. It's solid, very solid. So the best part about this entire project was that we moved this caboose up here safely. And then when we did the project itself, we had zero injuries, no uh, lost time. Nobody got hurt and everything was done safely and uh, on a reasonable time frame. We're proud to stand together with the Kentucky Steam Heritage Corp and we're bringing about some change in an area that badly needs it. The Kentucky Steam Heritage Center will be a, a center point of Ravenna, Kentucky. It's in an area that we, uh, we've recognized that needs a hand up. CSX is proud to stand by and, and give that hand up. And uh, we, we're really looking forward to seeing the, the area uh, turn around and become very vibrant again. It's already showing signs of it, just what little we've done already, and it's terrific. The thing that sets uh, the Kentucky Steam Group apart is the fact that they have a plan. Uh, they're just not a bunch of dreamers. They actually have a written down goal and that they're realistic in their goals. They're not trying to do a uh, wide expanse and save everything under the sun. They've got a very intimate goal of it that they've had. They've stated it to us and it's a very realistic goal. So CSX is proud to uh, help the Kentucky Steam Heritage Corp and we look forward to working with them in the future for some potential fun stuff. And uh, we look forward to revitalizing Eastern Kentucky, which is the main goal.